Hello, this is Jon Kobo from EMD. In this tutorial, I will show um, what you can do with this new property that is uh, new in WinPro 4.0. You can see it here, that's called uh, use PNG format when you export a uh, surface. Uh, it says here, it makes it possible to paint on the terrain. And that is exactly what it does. It makes it possible to uh, paint stuff that you follow the terrain. That could be, for instance, shadows on the ground uh, underneath the PV panels and also I will show you how you can uh, paint some gravel or, or something like that, a texture underneath the, the panels over here and also you could paint a road for instance and other things like that. So that's the idea about this uh, exporter and um, I'll just uh, create one right now here, uh, I'll say OK. Uh, maybe I will just uh, give it a different name. I'll call it Paint on Surface. And um, since it was using the current background map, I just want to pop out the, the background map here because I want to make it small. So I only get exactly what I need and not more than that. Um, because that gives me the highest resolution of the exported image. Something like this. And now I simply run the exporter. There you go. And um, here I can uh, open the folder with the exported image or I can simply double click it to open it in my uh, image editor that is associated with PNG files and that is in my case uh, Photoshop. So here I have it. So um, the way you do it is that you replace the image here with uh, whatever you want to paint. And, and the places where you don't want to paint anything, it should be transparent. So um, I'll just press Control zero to make, maximize this. And uh, I'll create first a new layer. And then I'll paint on that layer and then delete the old one afterwards. So I'm actually using this background here only to, uh, to be able to see where to paint stuff. And I want to use the, the brush tool this tool right here and then I'll paint black here because now I want to paint um, shadows underneath the, the tables so the way I do it is I click here and then I hold shift down and click at the end and then I'll do the same thing with all these panels here so this is going to be the shadows underneath the panels and I'm only doing the panels that you can actually see from this camera and I believe you could uh, also see some of the panels over here. But um, in, in this case, uh, in this area, I would instead try to, to uh, put some other texture that should be underneath the, the panels. And um, to do that, I'm just using another tool in, in Photoshop this lasso tool here to mark out the area that I want to paint within. And then I use this fill tool. You can do this many ways and uh, depending on what you want. In this uh, case, I, I will try to fill it out with a pattern. Um, I have imported some uh, gravel ground patterns that yeah, well, I, I don't think perhaps they work the best, uh, but uh, it, it will demonstrate uh, very well how you can use this method. So I just say I'll use this one. It takes a second. And here you can set some uh, settings about how to use this filling tool. So now it fill out this area. So uh, Press Ctrl D to deselect and then I'll try now also to create a, a small road uh, going up here and maybe manually put in some, uh, yeah, fill out this area also like like if, if it was a, a, some kind of a road going up there. And 
well, I'll just use this random color I have here. Press B to use uh, the brush tool. Make it a little bigger. Then I click here and hold Shift down and click here. Hold Shift down and click here. And then I manually just fill out this area. Right, so now uh, uh, this should be enough to, to show you what it's all about. If I now delete the background image, you can see this is what I have. And then I just save it. And I go back to WinPro. And you can see WinPro detects that I have changed the image. And I'll just go and say OK. And the export is done. Okay, I'll just move this down here again. And I'll go to SketchUp to see what happened. And here you can see that it has uh, put in uh, these textures that I uh, just made. If I move away here, you can clearly see it. And I can maybe remove the PV panels. I'll just call this PV. And uh, yeah, it's quite clear how it works. And uh, also, it's quite clear that it doesn't look good with these very, very uh, black shadows. But the way you can fix that is you can go into the, the brush tool and, and you can find the texture you just exported. Uh, it's right here. I can click on it, but I can also actually use this uh, the bucket uh, texture tool and if I hold the alt key down and click on the texture I want it actually automatically selects the texture over here so that's a little convenient when you have many textures so I go to edit and then there is this uh, opacity track bar so here I can actually move the opacity track bar up and down and then change it so it looks how I want it to look so this is uh, nice when you want to change the shadows, but it's not so nice if you want to have a road uh, like the one you have behind here that you don't want to change the shadow for. So if, if you have a situation like this, you might have uh, wanted to do this by ex making two exports, one for the shadows and one for the road. But this is just uh, for demonstrating how to do it. So I, I, I just made one export. But as you can see here, it looks uh, very nice and realistic. So um, if I export now this um, this background uh, that I made, this shadows and stuff like that, um, to back to WinPro, then it actually doesn't look so good. Uh, I can try to do it if I right click here and say export selected items to WinPro then back in WinPro it would um, so now here we have it and I can try and render it in WinPro so here you can see the problem uh, WinPro is simply not able to do these uh, semi-transparent parts of uh, a, a PNG file so it renders as, as the stuff uh, as it should but you can see um, it don't make the semi-transparent parts well. So sometimes that might be okay, uh, but uh, sometimes it's not okay. Of course, it's not okay here with these uh, shadows here. So now uh, I'm just going to show you a, a workaround. I'll just delete this surface I exported here. If I go back in, into the SketchUp, Let's say this uh, now after adjusting the transparency, I think this is just great. Uh, and of course, I could use, um, I'm just going to deselect, uh, I could just, if, if the rendering is fine and I want to do everything here from SketchUp, I could save this rendered image uh, using this export uh, uh, 2D uh, function here. But maybe if I absolutely want to have it back and do uh, the rendering in, in, um, in WinPro or PhotoMontage, then I can do like I'm doing now. I could get rid of uh, the PVs panel. So here I can actually see only the uh, background image with the shadows on it. And then I can export that. 
and simply use that as a background image in, in Photomontage instead of the original one. So I'm just going to use the export 2D graphics. And then I'm just putting it here in my trash folder. And one important thing is that I should uh, go to the options and set the width to the size of the original image. So it's uh, covering it completely and we get the same high quality as we have the, in the original image. And I'll press uh, export. I'm just saving this. And then in uh, Photoshop, here I have actually already loaded the original image uh, that was in, uh, used in photo montage. Then I'll uh, open also uh, the other one I just exported. Uh, and uh, then I, I simply press Ctrl A to select everything, Ctrl C to copy. And then I go to uh, the original image and Control V. And now uh, you can see that something's going on at the top. If I use this drag tool here, you can see that uh, the image I pasted in is a little bit larger. So of course they have to be straight on top of each other. So uh, luckily uh, Photoshop snaps the image and you can see uh, it's it's not that difficult to put it in the correct place, like this. And if I try to put, uh, turn it on and off, you can see now it's placed in the correct position. If I really zoom in on the image, on something that's uh, far away like this, and I turn it on and off, you might uh, discover that it's moving just a tiny bit. Uh, I can then by using the arrow keys on the keyboard after clicking on the, the layer here, I can adjust it. So now it's perfect. And you can still see that there's a tiny difference that the, the image exported from SketchUp gets just a tiny bit blurry. Uh, so that's just something you should be aware of if that's very important for you. Control zero, and now I'm zoomed out. Here you can see, now I have uh, the modified image that contains the shadows and then I can use that in the in, in the photo montage instead of the original one. So um, I'll just try and do that. I'll give this another name. Paint on surface copy. Now it's just asking about the quality and I'll set that to high. I go back into my photo montage. and uh, load that image I just created. And I'll just cancel this. I don't want to make any changes. You can see it found the image I created. And then I'll just try and render. So here we go. So you can see that looks quite nice. So that was all about that exporter. Um, thank you for watching and please sign up for our YouTube channel so you get notified when we put up new stuff. Thank you for watching.